Howdy guys, we're back with more Final Fantasy VI and we get to pick which scenario we're gonna do so let's start with Locke's for no particular reason. Locke has worked hard to stymie the efforts of the Imperial troops in South Figaro but now he desperately needs to escape. Oh no, Locke, poor Locke. Oh look at him hiding. Ho 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 ho, good job. They would. Oh, damn it, gotta get to Narsh on the fly. Alright, so I probably don't wanna. Okay, he went upward. I guess I need to kind of maybe use some timing to. Oh gosh, there's a guy with a mech thing, a Magitech thing over there. I don't wanna mess with him, so let's go. Gosh, I wish I spent more time and, um. South Figaro figuring out the layout. Okay, can't go that way. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's try a different way then. Um, gosh, I guess I have to deal with the Magitech over there. There's no other way to go. Don't mind me. Oh, nope. All right. Yep. All right. I'm just gonna. Oh no. Oh gosh. Yeah. I don't. I don't know how to get around this place. Crap. I know that there's. Uh, Dang it, I know there's like a, a house that kind of connects back down, but I don't remember which one. I just, I guess I'm going to go give this guy a high five. What's up? What are you doing here? Scram. Oh, okay. Well, all right. I guess I'm kind of, I thought they would attack me on sight. Well, shoot. I don't, that's the item shop. I don't really need to go in there. So, um, I guess let me check this house out because I think I can go around this way, right? Maybe. Let's see, what do you say? My grandpa used to be a servant for the richest family in town, but he said I'm only supposed to let merchants through here now. Oh, uh, okay, so they're not gonna let me through here. Jeez. Like, man, I was just here. I can't believe how difficult it is. I don't like strangers. Bring me some cider and maybe I'll talk to you. Really? You, you just want me to give you cider? Okay, so... I'm gonna have to bring this guy some cider and then he's gonna maybe let me use the stairs but I don't know where to get cider do it can I buy it from here maybe is there any in the item shop what do you have to say you're that infamous thief Locke, aren't you oh now that was just plain rude I'm a treasure hunter and don't you forget it oh no I shouldn't have talked to him all right, can I, does he have any sweet loot? He's a merchant, I imagine. He's got something good. I want to I wanna actually sit here and try to steal from him because I really feel like he's going to have something pretty neat. He's not really hitting very hard. Um, yeah, he only hits for eight, so we can kind of go back and forth for a while. I turned down the combat speed. Uh, oh, ooh, that's some kind of... Uh, de stole his clothes, too. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Here we go! Uh-uh. They're a little tight, but the price was right. What? Ooh! Flee. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to do that. Why do I always have to go and open my mouth? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I got a new, um... Oh, he's unarmed. I don't know if I should... Well, then I'll, I'll wait till I get through if I'm unarmed. I don't know if that'll take my outfit off. Um, oh gosh, let's see. I was gonna look at the items here. Um, I've, hmm. Oh yeah, I've, I guess I still have uh, more Phoenix Downs because I didn't lose them after I died to the octopus, so I'm still sitting on a plenty of them. Alright, so I'm a merchant now, so the little kid will let me through, right? I don't have to worry about getting cider for Grandpa. Hey, I'm a merchant. I'm a merchant. Yep, thanks. Appreciate it, kid. You're not, you're not a bad kid at all. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Alright, well, I wonder if anyone's gonna mess with me if I can just... I'm, I'm not gonna... Oh, oh, no. Should I put my equipment on? I, I'm just a friendly merchant. Don't mind me. I'm not buying anything. Oh, no. This is... Can I go here? I'm not buying anything. Halt, what do you think you're doing? <gasps> oh, I shouldn't have talked to him. I was just thought I was little babby merchant. Oh my god, no, look at all my health. Oh. Alright, don't talk to those guys then. Can I? Alright, I learned that. That was a very hard lesson to learn there. Woo wee. Alright, don't talk to the mechs. I thought that since I had um, 
or Magitex, I don't know why I keep calling them Max. I thought that since I had this, oh my gosh, what do I do? I thought since I had this outfit on, they wouldn't bother me. Okay, no, that's where I just came from. What the heck? Um, maybe up here then? Sorry, guys. I mean, I haven't played before, so I don't know the way to go or how to get out of here. This is definitely different for one of these kind of games, I feel like. Alright, can I go? Is there- oh, there's no way to- oh, here we go. Can I come out this way? I don't know if I should put my- oh, nope, you don't- oh, no, there's no- nothing up here, really? This was- oh, teleport stone. What the heck is that? Enchanted with a teleport spell. Teleports the party. Oh, okay, well, that does what exactly what it sounds like it should do. Well, that's pretty cool. Is he- I feel like he's gonna fight me if I talk to him. What do you- oh, yep. Shouldn't have bothered. I don't have any- I'm butt naked. Oh, I can't run away. What do I do? I don't have any equipment on. Can I steal from him and look like a cadet, I wonder? I'm gonna keep trying that and then... I don't know if I can actually do anything since I don't have any equipment on. I stole a potion. Oh, he stole his clothes too. Here we go. Aw, yeah. They're a bit too large, but he didn't change. Woo. Flee. <laughs> okay, so that's what I needed to do. I'm, I, you know, I like that, you know, this is what I really like about older games, I feel like, is that they're really easy to, like, figure out or accidentally. I'm, like, just kind of accidentally, maybe I'm doing the right thing, I don't know, but I feel like it was a lot less effort to figure out where to go and what to do next as opposed to newer games where it's like sometimes I feel like I have to go get a guide because it's like I don't know what to do this is too complicated all right well they let me sneak out now oh my shift is up already great I'll go take a break <laughs> don't mind me just gonna 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 can I can I go this town's under Imperial Occupation. Can I can I go by? Yep, can I go by? Can I get a chocobo? No? Oh my gosh, where do I go now? Um, well, like I just said, it's pretty easy to kind of accidentally your way around. How about you? Will you let me by? Halt, what do you think you're doing? Oh, I, was, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Um, oh, there we go. Good thing. Well, good thing I got to go back here. There's a lot of stuff I missed. Oh, God. I really don't know where to go now. Hmm. Gosh, let me think. Um, can I go back to your post? Okay. Alright, in the pub I go. <laughs> Maybe there's somewhere up here to. Oh, there's a bunch of Imperials hanging out in here at the bar, just chilling. It seems our famous Lady General turned traitor. I heard they have her locked up somewhere in this town. Oh, Tara. Oh, no, I'm late for my shift guarding the underground passage to the mansion. Oh, well, better never li than late. What? <laughs> better never than late? I heard there's two tunnels beneath the northern mansion. One leads to another house and the other leads out of town. Okay, so they tell you where to go. And what about you? Can you... Oh, you still don't want to talk to me. Alright. Well, so I need to find... Um... How about you? You're a merchant. Hey, you came to steal my cider, did you? You dirty little thief. Oh, so this will let me go back and talk to the other guy, maybe. I should do that. I stole his hat. <laughs> stole his clothes, too. Here we go. <laughs> They're a little tight, but the price is right. Wh Woo. This is so goofy. This is just goofy. Oh, I got a obtained the cider. Okay, I guess I can go talk to the old fellow at the... I know I should have probably checked the boxes in there for items, but eh, whatever. <laughs> Let's go find um, the mansion again. Gosh, I... I don't know if I'm going to be able to make my way back over there. I'm so lost. This place is overwhelmingly huge. Like, I just can't believe that they made such a big friggin' city in this game. I mean, like, it's a... I don't know. Like, a, I'm just used to, like, SNES games having, like, slower... Or not slower. Um, 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 smaller... Uh, cities or whatever, right? It's just weird to see them being so big. 
but it's not a bad thing, but I don't know, some, I just get lost so much. Let's go talk to him now. Ah, cider, glug glug. Mm, secret passage? Well, yes, there is a tunnel from here to the mansion on the north end of town. Go downstairs and tell my grandson the password. It's, um, I forget. The, the password is, um, uh, I forget. Alright, let's go take that to the grandson here. The password is... He, he forgot. F courage. I'll show you the secret entrance. That seemed like the most reasonable one. Alright, secret entrance. Should I put my regular equipment on? I think I should. Oh. It's just gonna, like, teleport me over here. Alright, I'm gonna put my equipment on because I don't know what's gonna- I feel like- I feel like uh, something is hap gonna happen. Alright, I got my- Can I- Oh, an air knife is- This is better. Why wouldn't- Why would it optimize the other one? Can I put two on? No? Am I crazy? Oh, oh, this does more attack. Oh, okay, okay. But I, I think I want something a bit more- Okay, evasive defensive now since I'm alone. Okay, 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 I see. Oh, you know, I've got the, uh, speedy boots on Terra. I should, uh, have gotten a few extra pairs so I could whip around a bit faster or taken them off of her. Well, not like I knew this was coming, so. Um, alright, well. Nothing exciting in here. Let's just poke our heads out. And, where am I? Whoa. Where, oh, there I am. Oh, okay, alright. And then we'll go through here. And it's, ooh, it's like quiet in here, completely quiet. The Imperial troops have turned this house into their headquarters. Oh, bummer. Alrighty, let's go. Shoot. I don't like how quiet it is in here. Thanks to our inside informant, this town fell with almost no resistance. <gasps> There's a traitor in our midst. Who is it? Who could it be? Who's the traitor that's sold our town out. Oh, what have I done? I betrayed my town to the Empire. All I could think of was money. It was this guy! Can can I stab him? There's like some kind of like a wind blowing kind of noise or a fire. That was weird. There's some kind of noise in there. Cause it got- oh, there's kids in here. Wind the clock, wind the clock. Uh, that was just a jump rope rhyme. God, these kids are driving me nuts. Can't they keep quiet for two minutes? Clang, clang, clang. I'm a magitech armor. <laughs> All right, so they gave me a little hint there with a clock. Let's see. I don't think there was a clock in here. No. There's a noise in there, though, definitely, when I go into just that room. Wind the clock. Wind the clock. Let's go find a clock. Was there a clock in here? Okay, there had to be one in that room, or does it even... Am I, is it, maybe it's just somewhere else. Nope, not here, not here. Hmm. Let's see, how about I talk to you? Thanks, Star... Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Huh, alright, so I'm missing a clock somewhere in here that I'm just... Like, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If I had another eye, I would be a Cyclops. I am so blind. Alright, there's got to be something in here because I hear that sound. Oh, That's why I hear a sound. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, remove the disguise. These clothes are fine. These clothes are fine. <laughs> I don't know why I'd want to take that off. Maybe I don't know if that's just uh, for Funzie's choice at this point. What? What's going on? I know I've been seen her before. Wait a second, she's one of the Empire's generals. What? This is what happens to traitors. Oh, a Magitek knight forged by the Empire and tempered in battle. None have ever truly known the woman beneath the general's guise. Oh, Celeste. Alright, okay, so we get a new character maybe? She's pretty cool. So the mighty Celeste has fallen. <laughs> Not as far as those who'd use their strength to oppress the weak. Quiet. Kefka's planning to poison every last man, woman, and child in the kingdom of Doma. Shut up! 
<laughs> Run that mouth of yours while you still can. Your execution's tomorrow. Oh no. Keep a close eye on her. Yes, sir. I can stand guard for days without sleep. Nope, looks like we're gonna have to crush him then. Oh, she collapsed? Oh no. We're oh, look at Locke up there at the top, like, hanging from the ceiling or whatever. What a clever treasure hunter he is. Alright, Merchant lock. let's go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> wow, he already fell asleep. Alright, don't mind me. Remove her bindings, just keep looking. Let's remove her bindings. Oh my god, the guy's like nodding off over there. What could you possibly hope to peddle it? What could you possibly hope to peddle in a place like this? Whoops! Forgot I was still wearing these clothes. There we go. Ho ho! Name's Locke. I'm with the Returners. You're a Returner. I'm... Or at least I was. General Celeste. Now I'm nothing but a traitor. Well, let's get going. You'd take me with you. No, I can barely walk. I'd never make it out of here. You seem to be doing just fine over there. I appreciate it, but even if you got me out, you wouldn't be able to protect me. I'm better off waiting here for the executioner. At least that way I'll keep my pride. I'll protect you. Trust me, you'll be fine. Yeah, really, for a general, she gives up pretty easily. Let's go! Wait. This soldier might have something on him that could help us get out of here. Now you're thinking. There's a clock key in his pocket. Whoop! Stealing is wrong. I'm playing lock. I think I'm kind of beyond stealing. More shoot. I guess he's supposed to be sitting down there, not like... He just looks like he's awkwardly hovering over the chair. Oh, here we go, his save point. Let's see. Let me go ahead and save right here. Boop. Alright, we'll go a little bit further. I should check out what, uh... She's a rune knight. Ooh. Let's optimize her. There we go. Now she's looking a little bit better. I wonder if she's got any cool abilities. Let's see. Cure? Ooh, she can heal. Awesome. Alright. She looks pretty cool. I'm wondering if there's going to be some kind of love triangle or something with Terra, Locke, and Celeste here. Alright, can I... There's the clock here. Boop. Nope, I guess that's not the clock I needed. That Probably that grandfather clock over there. Ooh, 500 gil. Awesome. 1,000 gil. It's a clock. It's ticking. Can I... I can't do anything to it, okay? Alright, and alright, I'm just trying to like check all these things, make sure there's nothing exciting in them. Some more gill. And empty. Really? What a ripoff. I I went so much further over there for that one too. Alright, nothing exciting here, I guess. How about this clock? An old clock. It's not ticking. Wind the clock. Oh, it opened a door. Ho ho. Shocking. Alright, let's go in here. And, okay, oh, random encounter time. Let's see what we got here. Doggies. All right, well, let's just go ahead and attack them. Runic. I don't know what that does. Let's see what that... That gave her some kind of buff, maybe? I didn't really see what that did. Have to... Hmm, all right, well, I'm just gonna attack. I'll look that up later. I don't know what I just did with Runic. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess... All right, well... That's all there was to that. That wasn't anything particularly exciting or anything. On we go. I guess we're gonna have a few random encounters in here. I'll, um... Ooh, false. Ooh. Alright, I just found out that the dogs will actually run away. Oh, how do I get over there? I want the treasure. That the dogs that in uh, random encounters will actually run away if you don't, uh, kill them fast enough. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, so I ended up, ooh, a heavy shield, and another random encounter. Oh, yep. Alrighty, I got a great sword out of that. That was really awesome. And, um, you know, I noticed, uh, you know, I guess Celeste gets to use magic too. So is she, like, special like Terra is? Like, I guess that's probably why she's a general or whatever, because she can use magic, right? Ooh, ooh. 
and iron armor. Okay, oops, that's an upgrade. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of false walls and stuff in here. Oh, she's already got an iron armor on. Okay, alright. Or did she? I don't know. Alright, so this... Okay, this is just a false wall for funsies. Oh my gosh, where do I go then? Huh. Um, well, I was already over... The, did I go up? Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I finally figured out where to go. There was a false... Ah! Oh, there was another false wall that I missed, and oh my gosh, another dead end. This place is so annoying. I honestly think I'm gonna cut the recording until something exciting happens, because it's seriously just me. Arr! So many random encounters. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Why are you helping me? You remind me a lot of someone. What's... what's the... What's it matter anyway? I'm not- I'm helping you because I want to. Oh. Okay, well, I got Celeste and I'm out of here. Oh! <laughs> I almost walked right back in. Okay. Looks like maybe I might be close to done with Locke's scenario. There's a cave here that it's telling me I need to go to. And we will do it next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Final Fantasy VI. I'm so sorry it was mostly just me running and like, Oh my god, I'm so lost. But that's the nature of the game sometimes, right? Thank you, get, or thank you guys again. Bye for now.